magazine came out today, and inside the People's Most Beautiful Women edition... It's none of us. It's not any of us, <laughs> but it is this lovely lady. Please welcome our co-host today, the beautiful and talented from the Food Network and many other places, Sandra Lee. Yay! Yay! Good hair Hi. day. Oh, Hi. yes. I'm See, Elizabeth. Hi, beautiful. And you're just as beautiful in person as she is in that yeah. magazine. So gorgeous. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Guess what? This is the first time Sandra is seeing this. I, I, I walked in the studio and they said, have you seen this magazine yet? And I said, no, I hadn't. And I opened it up and I couldn't. I just opened it up and I immediately started commenting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, and I go, what am I doing? Where am I? <laughs> and I sat down next to Sandra and I said, I didn't sit here and listen to you comment on that magazine because, you, you know, and, and it's nice how you're so supportive. Women are so supportive of each other these mm -hmm. days. You know, you can look at a magazine and say how beautiful somebody is. And you I should. Don't, you know, and that's, that's so important, I think. Yeah. I love you know, Jennifer just, and her legs are fabulous. Yeah, she looks oh, great in it. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. So when she you make it, it to People Magazine, you know, is one of the most beautiful people in the world. Do you like lay this out in your coffee table, <laughs> or do you like kind of like have like a little strategy where it's kind of covered but not? Do you have it framed not? all no, over you your house? Open to her page. No, no, no. Not really. no. no. <laughs> oh, you know what? If I lay this out, I have birds, uh, cockatoos. They're you know the the umbrella beautiful white cockatoos. Yeah. I have them, and if I lay this out, it would just oh, be one. shredded. Yeah, that's Phoenix oh, wow. right there. Oh wow! That's my baby. He is oh, so my sweet. Oh goodness! And your other like baby? a dog. He's like a little dog. And my other baby. Oh. <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you about that in just a minute, but as, as long as we're on the subject, just very briefly on the subject of women and supporting women, how are you feeling these days? And I know that um, you are a breast cancer survivor, and, and we're not going to spend a lot of time on that, but we just want to say you look wonderful. Yeah, because I've spent the last year on it. Right. So, so we're done. Um, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. But, uh, you know, it's an incredible sisterhood that I didn't know that I was ever going to need, and you don't know that you're going to need it. So. Unfortunately, I'm supposed to be staying for the whole show, but I heard two days ago about a woman who had the exact same diagnosis in the exact same way as I did, so I'm going to be leaving you a little early because I'm going to have lunch with her. Oh, wow. with her wow. wishes, so absolutely, of course. You have to, like, you have to be supportive of everybody. Absolutely. That's wonderful. And that's the time you need to do it, so. And speaking of support, a good man never hurts. Yeah. Thank you, man. Right oh, it's a handsome guy. He's got a job too, though. Yeah, he's got a good job. He's got a good job. Well, he's got. You know what? I don't know that it's such a good. It's a good job, but it's not an easy job. Mm -hmm. It is a very challenging job, and you have to work every single day. And when I say every single day, I mean 365. Mm -hmm. There's no Christmas. There's no New Year's. There's no Halloween night. There's none of that when you are the governor and. He does the right thing for as many people as he can every single day, and I love him for it. And that's, of course, Andrew Cuomo, mm -hmm. governor of New York, in case you didn't recognize the picture. The handsome man in the picture. <laughs> so you, you it's hard when your man is prettier than you are. No, no, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> you haven't seen him live and in person. Uh, well, that is the, true. Uh, the, uh, you, the location that you've now visited us at mm -hmm. Unity Plaza is home to two restaurants that are on a great list mm -hmm. that we're going to um, share with you right now. This is from TheExaminer.com. These are the best new restaurants in Jacksonville. So we want to give a shout out to this Chick's Kitchen. And we've had Chef Rosaria on our show, of course. And then here's the Then we have one. Bob's Steak and Chop House. And these are all great ideas for you while you're here to go visit. Uh, yeah. Kitchen on San Marco, another place that we've been at a couple times. Mm -hmm. And then Sprague and Company is right here. So it's literally next when you walk out. Yeah, it's next door. And then number one, Hobnob, which is directly next door. <laughs> That's like 20 feet from right us. Here. And there's That's the right live picture there. Door. Yeah, so there's Spraga. And then uh, to the right will be Hobnob. So. Yeah. Where's the Mexican restaurants on that list? Uh, Not new. These are new restaurants. Yeah, but we so. do have some great great restaurants in town and we're a few doors down from a great Mexican restaurant called Burrito Gallery mm -hmm. that's have a couple locations so while you're here Burrito and Burrito Gallery <laughs> yes. Tex -Mex, Do you know what they serve? No, burrito. burrito. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <That's not laughs> <true. laughs> All right. Trick so, question. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we want to we want to share with you Sandra this uh, survey done three out of four women mm -hmm. tell me this applies mm -hmm. prefer love handles to a six pack on a man. I'm not buying into this, but I mean, your thoughts? Hmm. <laughs> she pleads. I don't know. What would you like to collect this to? Uh, which one? Elizabeth, what do you think? Uh, I prefer neither of those. I prefer my husband's. Uh, so where is he? Is he in the middle of that? Is he in the middle? Um, where, where does he fall? 
sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want to get in trouble here. <laughs> I have a feeling you look like the one on the right, right? Yeah. Oh, I, I would yes. say right. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank I don't have to worry about, I mean, I've been working on a pony keg for a while, so <laughs> I don't have to worry about getting down to a but, sixer. But you know what's interesting, though? I think that with my wife, if I start getting, like, too skinny, she doesn't like that at all. No. You know, so she likes, I guess, like, to have, like, a build, and mm -hmm. sometimes, like, that happens, and I, I could kind of see that, mm -hmm. you know? So, so what's, what's your man? What's Andrew like? <laughs> Perfect. <Aww. laughs> hey. Good answer. Go ahead. But then it says, I mean, so it says when it comes to real life, we don't want to chiseled perfection at our bed that's what some women say is that true <laughs> where are you at this is a long task let me tell you who did this survey <laughs> who did do this survey? uh the uh, this is what this is the great part this was a survey that was commissioned by the movie the neighbors the dvd release of that you know the, the one with zach efron and right. the, yeah so Seth they commissioned this study to draw attention to that, but I just thought it was an interesting study and just worth asking other ladies. So, yeah. all right. So, well, moving when on. When you're 24, yeah, that's really lovely. Uh -huh. But as you mature in your life and you just want some comfort and somebody sweet, I think that that's, you know, everybody gets to to uh -huh. mature. That's true. The way God intended. Yeah, I got more than enough comfort. Rance is comfort food, right? Yes, that's what you yes, are. You like, you like, like the comfort. So real quick, we were talking about this study. Let's go to something a little bit more highbrow, right? Let's talk about the new words that are in the dictionary, and they're they're kind of funny. So, let's start out with FOMO. Do you guys know what FOMO is? I do know what that FOMO. Is. That's. I think no. I may have it. Missing out. Yeah, so that's a, a new oh. word that made the list. You and I were both going the other way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was like, oh my I can't say that. You guys are still on the last topic, I think. <laughs> the next one is athleisure. Athleisure. Again, a new word in the dictionary. Athleisure. Um, it, does it... Does when it mean what it sounds work like? Work out and relax simultaneously? It's very close. It's uh, when you wear clothing that's designed for both. So my example would be probably yoga pants, because people, they'll rock oh, yeah. those like, out to eat. Uh, and then they'll okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, note to self, buy Lululemon stock today. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, Good yes. tie-in. Exactly. Uh, another one, nomophobia. Nomophobia. nomophobia? No more phobia. <laughs> that would make sense. Yes. Yes. It's um, the I'm fear. With it's I'm the with fear you. of not having your cell phone by you. Huh? Yeah. How, where do they come up with that? Yeah. No. I don't no get that. I just read the cards. I don't know. <laughs> I just read the cards. Uh, here's another one. This is a popular one. I C Y M I. And I that's got it. In case you in missed case it. You missed yeah. it. Yeah. So there you go. So just a couple of them that are really found, like in the, the texting language that went up you know, into the dictionary. You well, know, I have to tell you something. If you trademark a word, they won't put it in the dictionary. Ah. So semi-homemade, tablescapes, ah. because they're trademarked words, they cannot go into the dictionary, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. I it agree. And, and we use them so much thanks to you. So what we need to do now, though, is um, we're going to take a break. But when we come back, we are going to have so much more with Sandra Lee. We are going to talk about why she's here visiting us today mm -hmm. and, uh, and so, so much more. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back.